pressure on your pilots made out of that helicopter they're shooting at. Hi, this is Apollo from 3 Commander Brigade. In this video I'll take you through a step-by-step -step process for downloading the mods and launching armour so that you can join one of the 3 Commander Brigade servers. We'll follow uh, a four-stage process, uh, first of which will be to download and install a tool called Armour 3 Sync. Uh, this tool allows us to download mods automatically and to launch the game. Then we'll, uh, on stage two, connect to the 3CB repository and from there we'll download the mods automatically and in the final stage we'll launch the game and join the server. Started by downloading Armour 3 Sync. So pull up your favourite browser and in the search bar type Armour 3 Sync. First uh, search that you come to will be for Armourholic which is a site that hosts mod downloads for Armour. And scroll to the bottom and we'll click the, the download link. Um, you can see while it's downloading 3.4 megabytes that it does have a requirement for Java Runtime Environment 7. Most modern PCs will already have this, um, but if you do need to get it, you can get it from here. So once it's downloaded, go and find the download, open it up. It's a compressed RAR file. And inside the RAR you'll find uh, the installer exec. So we'll run that. And then we'll run through the Armour 3 Sync setup wizard, just following very simple instructions. Accept the agreement. We can install it to its default location, doesn't really matter where it goes. Create a desktop icon and launch the game or we'll launch the, the installer. So the first thing you'll see is that uh, immediately it comes up with an auto update. It checks to see whether it's updated and if one is available it will uh, ask you if you'd like to do that. So we will do that. It's constantly being developed, uh, it's very well maintained. It's largely bug free and crash free. So it automatically runs and the first thing you'll notice is it uh, asks us for a little bit of configuration information, uh, specifically where our Arma 3 executable is stored. Um, so we are going to select that and for me and for most people it will be in the Steam library, Steam apps, common Arma 3. And in here you'll see the Armour 3 executable. So we select that and say OK. The next thing we need to do is to define where we're going to store our mods or where mods we already have are stored. Uh, they don't have to be in the same folder as the game itself. Um, many people have SSDs with limited space from which they run the game but their mods which can amount to many uh, tens of gigabytes perhaps can be on a, a secondary hard drive. So we go to the add-on options tab um, and we already have the main game location is there but we need to add another one. So for me this is on my F drive uh, in an Armour 3 mods folder and as you can see I already have a number of mods already installed. So we select that and we now have the two search directories and what we need to do is move the one that you want to be the default folder uh, to the top of the list. So by clicking the up and the down arrows you can change the position but the top one will be the one uh, which by default is where new mods will be installed. And then following along the tabs let's go to the launcher options and very briefly you can choose uh, which profile you use. If you have multiple profiles you can select the one that you would like. Um, various options you can select um, and in particular uh, I use no splash screen and default world empty. Um, both of these make the game launch up quicker. OK, so we're now up to stage two, connecting to the 3CB repository. Uh, this is a list of all the mods that you will need to join one of the 3 Commander Brigade servers. So we go to, in Armour 3 Sync, the Repositories tab. Currently we now have, don't have any add-on repositories, so we click the plus button to add one. And we type in http colon forward slash forward slash repo dot 3 Commander Brigade dot com forward slash auto configure. Uh, there will be a button shortly on the 3CB website which will uh, do this for you. But uh, having typed that in, uh, click on the import button. You will hopefully get a connection success. It will fill in the repository name automatically and it will put in the connection information such as the URL and the ports and everything else. So you don't have to worry about any of this technical stuff. The import button does it for you. Having done that, click OK. 
And having done that, we can see uh, immediately that it's uh, bringing in some information about different mod sets that are, are available for the different servers on 3CB. And the one that um, non-3CB members might be most interested in is the public mod set, which will allow you to play on the public servers, which are up 24 hours a day, seven days a week, pretty much, and are open to the public to play on. So having done that, um, we're going to select the repository that we uh, previously downloaded and we'll click this um, arrow on a page button which connects us to the repository. So what we're doing now, we're looking to see which mods uh, we need to download. If we haven't got any of them, it'll be all of them. Uh, or if we already have some mods, it'll just be the ones that we're missing. Uh, you can see the default destination folder which we set earlier you want to make sure that that is correct and you are able to change it here if you need to and we're going to now check for add-ons so this is going to compare our list of mods that we may already have against the mods that the server requires so it's now checking for files having clicked the, the check or the tick box and this may take a little while depending on the number of uh, mods that we currently have So Arm3 Sync has now finished checking our mods against the mods held on the 3CB repository. And if we have a look here, we can see um, in this window the repository content, which is the mods that are required to play. You can see there's a number of them. And uh, in red, you'll see ones that you don't currently possess. So I, all of these that are in black, uh, I currently have and don't need to download. But this one, 3CB bath units, is not on my system. Of course this is because I recently deleted it just so that I could show you as normally it is there. So as a, a completely new player with no mods, all of these will be read and you'll need to download all of them, which will take you uh, a certain amount of time, let's say. Several hours I would leave it, perhaps leave it running overnight. So it says 11 files to update, no files to delete. So I shall put a checkbox, a tick in the, the box for the things that I want to update or, or install. And having selected the ones that need to be changed, I'll click the play button here for download add-ons. Uh, and there you go, you can see it, uh, well, it was so fast that it didn't take very long. Download speeds are very good from our servers um, and uh, very favourable in comparison to other mod delivery systems. So now you can see everything is uh, in black there are no red and no blues and we are pretty much good to go from here so we are almost ready to launch the game but if we are a new user and have downloaded the task force radio mod for the first time then we have a small amount of configuration to do to make that work uh, TFAR or task force radio is a mod that simulates radios and uh, voice communication uh, in Armour and replaces the voice over net. So to do that fortunately Armour 3Sync has an automatic tool uh, so we go to the tools in Armour 3Sync and click on TFAR installer and all we have to do here is enter these four uh, installation directories or paths to the various things. The Armour 3 one is usually already filled in because we did that earlier in the process but that just points to the Armour 3 executable in our Steam library Steam apps. Then we need to uh, tell the TFAR installer where TS3, which is the TeamSpeak uh, program, is stored. And then the two Task Force Radio uh, plugins and user config folders. And these are just the, uh, the mods that we've just downloaded. So I'll go ahead and fill those in and we'll have a look. I've now filled these two paths in for TeamSpeak 3 client and for the user config folder which uh, is in Task Force Radio Armour 3 user config. Having done that, click the proceed button. It tells us the following operations have been performed. It's copied the TFAR plugin to the TeamSpeak 3 plugins folder and the user config has been copied into the Armour 3 directory. 
you can now run your game with Task Force Radio. Excellent, thank you. Um, this is important. Don't forget to run TS3 with admin privileges. Okay, so we click close. And we're now ready for the final step for of launch game and join server. So before we join the game, we will ensure that TeamSpeak is running and we are connected to the 3 Commander Brigade server. And to do that, um, we click on connections, connect, and we type in the server address for 3 Commander Brigade's TeamSpeak server, which is voice.3commanderbrigade.com. Type in your, uh, your name and click connect. There is no server password for the public server, at least. Connected. And that connects us to the lobby at uh, 3 Commander Brigade's TeamSpeak server. Um, you can see here we have a section for the public server. These players, there are four of them currently, are playing in the radio comms channel. You, you will only go in here when you actually join the game. So while you're waiting, uh, feel free to move yourself channel to the waiting switched. area. Like that. And then we will launch the game. Uh, so back to Armour 3 Sync. And the easiest way to do this is to select Join Server. And in here you'll see a list of all the servers that are available. And the one that uh, you may you may want first is the 3CB public server. So you select that and click the Start Game. And there we are. So we're in the role assignment for the public server. Uh, then I can select whichever slot I fancy and click OK and when I go in game it will move me automatically uh, into the correct TeamSpeak server channel. You know how to directly launch into the game from the 3CB Armour 3 Sync repository tab and joining a server directly and starting the game. But uh, there may be times when you want to play Armour offline um, or perhaps experiment with mods and if we want to do that we can go to the add-ons tab and on the left hand side we have a window that shows all the available add-ons on our hard drive and on the right hand side are any groups that we create uh, which are like collections of mods to allow us to easily launch a certain set and uh, automatically just by having gone to the uh, 3CB public server we have the 3CB public mod set has been uh, installed with the mods required for that and you notice that they're all ticked. There is in fact one currently that's optional Dino Sound, it's a sound mod. Um, not everybody wants or needs to run that if you don't want to run it you can take that tick out and you can launch the game from here. Now if you don't want to go directly into the server you can make that blank and then when you start the game it will start the game up to the main menu uh, and from there if you want to join a server you can go to the multiplayer screen uh, and then find the server using the browser or typing in the, the remote IP and its port. You can also pull in other mod sets that uh, 3CB have um, and to do that uh, you can click on the mod sets button and you'll notice that we've got mod sets for various other things such as joint operations with other clans um, private operations and training. So let's say that we want um, to get the training mod set and uh, also the joint ops. And there we go. It adds those two and we can have a look at what's in them. To select it, if I want the training mod set, just put a check in there. And then Either you can click training server and join directly into the server or you can leave it blank just to start armor with that mod set. So create your own custom mod sets from here. Uh, it's very easy to do just in some white space on the right hand side. Right click the mouse and add group. Give it a name. At the moment it uh, initially it will be blank so uh, if you have some mods that you want to test perhaps um, just drag them in, literally just dragging them across
and then when you're done take ticks off any of the other boxes and tick the ones that you want to launch make sure that the server is blank and click the start button and that will launch armor with these one two three four five mods now that we have everything installed and have verified it's working let's go through a typical startup sequence um, where we check the mods from the repository haven't been updated and then launch into a server so let's launch armor 3 sync we'll go to repositories and we're going to check the 3cb armor 3 sync repository for any updates we can put a check in a tick in this notify box if we want to be notified automatically we click the uh, connect to repository button we check for add-ons zero files to update, zero files to delete so there are no changes required and then we can join the public server one of the other servers by clicking start game alternatively go to add-ons select the mod set that you want to use um, and if you want to go into the game without going to a server blank start game Hopefully you'll have found this video guide useful in getting you set up with all the right mods and we'll see you very soon on the 3 Commander Brigade servers. If you do need additional help uh, feel free to come on to our TeamSpeak and uh, give one of the members a nudge and we'll be very happy to help you out with any questions that you've got. This is Apollo signing off and see you soon for some realism, tactics and fun.